Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I have the unboxing and review of a touchscreen stylus. This one's made by NutriNet, and the model numbers I have here are the IMP 63W and the IMP 63B. So, this was recently introduced to uh, Amazon's marketplace, and I figured I might as well give it a shot since the, the previous model, the IMP 62W, was very popular and there's over 200 some odd uh, reviews on it and everyone seems to like it. So I figured I might as well give this, this one a shot. And as you saw in my previous video, this was the stylus that came with my iPad 3 case, or my, or my new iPad case, and this one had a, a rubberish tip. This one now, it has a microfiber knit tip, so it works on all capacitive touchscreens, and well, it's also advertised to not scratch your screens. See if, it's, if you can see here. There's the uh, like a plastic cover over over the edge. My guess is just that inside here it's metallic, so if they don't want it to scratch your screen, so they included a uh, a plastic cover around it. Let's see if this shows up better here now. And to release the to show the the tip just press here like a pen and it comes out so how does it work it's very responsive it's uh, very nice very smooth let's try one of the uh, the notes apps so one of my favorite apps right now is this good notes and let's see I am fine. I'm not sure if the, if the microphone on my camera is catching it, but I can hear squeaking sounds. It seems like a brand new pair of sneakers on the basketball court. Just a second, let me try the previous one again. The one with the rubber tip, that one did not have the squeak, squeaking sounds. Hmm. So. So, the noise produced by this, in lecture hall, I don't think people will care, but if you're like in a, a, small, a smaller classroom type setting, or a smaller board meeting, then yeah, I think this you're going to draw and want attention to yourself. Well, I like, I like the responsiveness of this product. So for the length, let's see with it retracted, let's see what the length is. Yeah, it's just about the same as the uh, the, the previous stylus I had. And let's see if it fits in this. I just refer to this as the hybrid iPad 3 case. Hmm. It takes a little work. Then it fits. It doesn't slide in that easily because this part is a bit too tight. This part right here. So this might be a little bit of a problem. And also taking it out, out of this, this little sleeve here, it's not that easy because of this plastic tip. It gets caught. So this plastic tip gets, tip gets caught on this uh, on the sleeve right here. So. Looks like I'll still be using this one for some time. Hmm. Well, that's a disappointment. So I can see why they included this plastic piece. Turns out it comes off. And once it comes off, it exposes this metal rim. And if you just keep rubbing this metal part against the glass, eventually you will scratch it. Because if you ever forget to click the stylus out, you're just going to be writing metal against glass. But with it on, then you can't put it inside one of these sleeves. So this was just very poorly thought out. It would be nice if they had it where it's one click, stylus, click again, pen, ballpoint ink pen. But, oh well. Well, uh, I'll probably just give this a uh, 
three out of five since I'm not too fond of this plastic piece right here. Uh, it, it's not something I can just put in the sleeve. This pen part over here, this this uh, shirt clip or something, po shirt pocket clip, is way too tight. It's way too firm. Huh? It just broke off. Well, that's a piece of crap. Well, I would not recommend this product. You know what? I'll give it a 0 out of 5. Well, thanks for watching this unboxing review of this uh, new Trendnet Stylus. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster.